Hey, what's up, peoples? Welcome back to the next spanking brand new ready to spill episode of What the, the Tea. tea. <laughs> we hope y'all had a wonderful week. What's up, Craig? What's up, Diva? What's up? Oh, How you How you what's up, homie? Oh, <laughs> she said, what's up, homie? Yeah, that's something me and my sister do. So she was like, you got to say it on the show. So I said, all right. And hey. If you ever hear me say homie, that's me shouting out my sister. Whoop, whoop. Okay. okay. Whoop, there it is. We thank you for always coming to the Oh, world. wait. Oh. Breaking news. <laughs> where, where, where? <laughs> Breaking news. The Queen's Gateway Gladiators won the championship game for rugby. Back, 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 so back, back. Back. Your sister is a champion? The champ is here. The champ is here. Yes, my baby won the championship. Okay, okay back to your regular scheduled program. My bad. My bad. Okay, y'all. Y'all already know we have a lot of tea to spill. Good tea. All, all tea is good tea, especially when discretion is used. So, make sure you grab your glass, your cup, your mug, whatever you got, just as long as something is in it for you to sip on. And remember... Discretion is the key before spilling your tea. Like clink, clink. Yeah, like clink. Mmm. Cheese. Mmm. Cheese good. I'll save some of that for later. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did that. All right, y'all. So. Okay. Cocky bitch. <laughs> she is good. I mean, you did do that. I, I mean, that. she is good. You know, no. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna move on. <laughs> I love you. Okay, and look, 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 I love you. Get away from me. I love you. Get over there. It is time for us to get flawless. You. So if you're ready to get flawless with us, let's go. Cause we got a lot of to we report under this flawless <laughs> report. This so much. okay, cause he he I don't he know not where here. he went. Not here. Okay, so first up under. The flawless report, Miss Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj will be in Barbershop Three. She's heading to the shop, people. Um, sh she's going to be playing Drea. Okay, that's her character name. She's also going to be a sassy, quick mouth um, hairstylist mm -hmm. that is also going to be on the beauty shop portion of the Barbershop. You know, okay. Whole. Cause I have a question. Spiel. So I have a question too. Um, I think mean, I had the same question. Mm -hmm. Look around for Nikki to be in Barbershop Three, which should be out in theaters later this year. Which is filming now. Yes, they are filming now. So I'm sure all the bars and everybody will be, up, be in up in the theater. Yeah. Like, what up, midnight show? No, I have a question. What up? So Nikki is in Barbershop. Three. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. Right. What about Eve? Ask that question. Um. Well, if I recall, was Eve in the second one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I can give the answer. Of what about Eve? See, what had happened was right. Mm -hmm. Eve tried to go and follow Janet Jackson and marry a billionaire. Okay. And then wanted to move, you know, across the country and just be a married wife. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think she's caring too much about it. That's so, she's not in the movie? Is that just no, Eve is not in the movie. Okay, because, you know, I just found it funny because, you know, you know, Eve had a lot to say mm -hmm. about Miss Minaj. That's mm -hmm. what I heard. Can I take it from here? Mm-hmm. Flips hair. Yeah, what I'm going to say is, she was talking wild shit, like they wasn't in the same music video together. Wild well, crazy Spring. shit. My chick bad. It was my chick, hood. My chick bad. Okay. Before the remix came out, when it was Trina, Eve, and Diamond. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. was They was. I don't know who the third artist. I think it was Diamond. <coughs> they were in the first part of the video because I remember Trina and Eve in the background, and Nikki was on the regular track. But I don't know. Apparently, Eve had something to say. And then there was a BET documentary about female rap, and Nikki was one of the main people brought up, and a lot of people had something negative to say about Nikki, and Eve happened to be one of them. Mm. So, did Eve not get called to be in Barbershop 3 because Nikki was in, or did she just not want to do or it? Or is it the fact that she's not hot anymore, right. and she's just not hot anymore? Well, so. I mean, it could also be like many other franchise movies where 
once you get to the second and third one, the actors and actresses that were in the first two, right. whatever, they're no longer there. It's it, and it that's happens. what I'm realizing. Okay. The franchise is just kind of hard to keep the same actors and actresses on the the list. But on it's the been shown that that franchises do it. Look at the Fast and the Furiouses. Look at the um, Fast and the Furious had the money to pay each and say every single one of them. You, okay. you don't know. Maybe they did reach out to Eve, and Eve was like, "Bitch, you're gonna pay me a cute, cute coin because this is movie number three. Mm. And they probably said, "Oh, we're not giving that to you." Mm. You okay. never know. Well, move right along. Who's that? Miss Beyonce Knowles. Yes. Or her husband, at least. Okay. Um. So, title has this thing going on where you know they they you know have a couple of artists that got together you know to, to yeah. make the title happen. Well, there's rumors that um, Beyonce's music is gonna be pulled from title. Say what? Say what? Oh yes. no! Nah. And Jay Z ain't too happy about that. Um, but then just earlier today, right before we started recording, um, I seen that one of the CEOs from Sony Music saying that they are not pulling Beyonce's music. That is just a fabrication. Mm-hmm. Um, but they cannot speak on ongoing legal battles. Uh, so, there's some truth to it. There is, clearly. Apparently, because, you know, if you can't speak on a legal battle, then... Just saying. You know, just saying. Okay. I don't think it would destroy their empire, though. Of course no. not. But, I mean, that would kind of hurt title because, you know, let's... You know, Beyonce, she's a, she's a heavy hitter. Yes, I mean, she was also just named, you know, um, one of the most powerful, powerful women in music. music. Yep. Above Madonna okay. and Janet and so on and so forth. I mean, even if that was to happen, it'd be fine. Nikki's still there. Rihanna's still there. They can pull the weight of title. Yeah, Madonna's still there. Oh, yeah. she is? Madonna's oh. the title. Oh. Okay. Oh. What else next is in the floor support? So, again, with my fave, Nicki Minaj, <laughs> she... Really? I said, hey, Nikki. I said, hey, Nikki, bitch, get your life together. This child. Who is this talking to all day? <laughs> you! Who have you been talking to? This fabulous also right here. So, Nicki Minaj decided to <laughs> <laughs> grace the cover of Cosmopolitan yet again. This is I her second you. time, bitch. This is her <laughs> second time covering Cosmopolitan this year for the July um, cover, due out June 9th. Um, and on the cover, there's a very sexy, very hood, but still sophisticated pose. Oh, so With okay. a silver body. and gold striped leotard, very diamond stud. It looks very cute. Mm-hmm. Um, very natural looking makeup with a light pink lip. Not, nothing too, <laughs> and the body, honey. The body, the body that's looks what right. you have to get into. The body, the body looks so right. Woo! Um, many things are being talked about. Apparently, this is a wild summer sex issue. So, it's about skin and toned and tight, and there's a quote saying, I demand an orgasm every time, hashtag winning. I'm here for that. As per yes. yes. Um, some pictures that were released this week were, uh, you know, it's a July thing, a July issue. issue. Mm-hmm. So, um, the 4th of July, you know, is coming up, and it's a very, it's a, she's in a bathing suit, 4th of July themed, very Skin revealing, very sexy, and very patriotic. Um, right, it's very patriotic with her salute. God bless America. Okay. God, <laughs> but okay. she's turning daddy. Girls, that's okay. an American. That's an American book. God bless anyway. American titties. So, and then there's been another picture with her in a smiley face bathing suit, laying in a tub, very posed, very posed. Very from very the high fingertips fashion. down to the okay. Toes. Very high fashion. Okay. As Tara, as um Tara would say, she is posing from her neck. All the way to her toe. Right. So your neck up here? Well, her neck, her <laughs> head. H to T. H to T. Um, but yeah, she's a she. Um, there's there's been brief issues, uh, brief parts of the interview uh, released. Um, so yeah, it's looked like a very good uh, issue. I'm definitely gonna be buying it because I have the other Cosmopolitan one from before, so I will mm-hmm. definitely be buying this one to add to my collection. So I'm looking forward to it. Hey. Hey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. And then, okay, my fave, we talked about her already, Beyonce. First of all, I got my life and died. I got my life twice this week mm-hmm. and, and came back twice. Mm-hmm. Um, the first reason why I, I had to die and, and get my life and come back was Beyonce, these videos, viral videos that have been going around, hashtag Beyonce always on beat. Oh, my God. 
they have been taking over, and it's if you don't know, if you haven't seen, which I, I don't know how you could not see, but word, all it is, it's um, a different song with a video of Beyonce, a clip of her dancing to it. There's, uh, people are starting to, to do it with other artists. In one of the clips, she's not even dancing. She's Word. sitting at the, she's sitting at the game. She's not playing with the same like Mary J. Yes. They just had like me dying. But that concludes your flawless report. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. And don't do nothing. And don't do it. nothing. Okay. So we're gonna get into the spot of tea. Oh. Okay. You First and foremost, huh? You need to watch your whistle. No. I. I'm. I'm okay. I'm. I'm perfectly fine. First and foremost. I, who do I want to go with? Let's talk about... Nah. Yeah. The Lambs. We we on y'all again, unfortunately. Um, Mariah again. Scare Carrie um, decided that she wanted to slay American Idol. She um, did an interview overseas uh, earlier this week, and they asked her, you know how she felt about America Idol, her thoughts on it, this, this, that, and the third. Pretty much, she said, America Idol is boring, and it's fake. She like said, her? okay, because that's what she should have ended the sentence with. But she said that um, because, as far as it, when it comes to the contestants, because she said, it also said that it was one of the worst experiences she's ever had due to the fact that she really, now peep this, catch this, she, there's really not much that she could say or that anyone else could say to an artist after them performing on stage besides just saying, oh, that was good. Or, and she really meant that was good. Hence as to why we got the type of commentary that we got from her when she was a judge on America Idol because the bitch didn't have anything to say. Now here's my, my, my issue with, this hoe. Can I cut you off, please? Because I don't even want you to finish. I'm I'm sorry. I Mariah. Really, bitch? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like Nicki Minaj, who is a female rapper, had more to say about people singing than you did. And she had but... more to say off the gate than Mariah. Yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna need you to do what I'd like oh, go ahead. Stop. What I'm gonna need you to do, one, stop scamming your fans. Because, bitch, we caught it. Yes. Okay. Two, get your life. Raise your twins. Twins. Yes. Raise your twins. <laughs> what is it? Rocco and, and Martin? Rocky, whatever. Oh. whatever. <laughs> Rocco's modern life, who fucking knows? Raise your two kids. Okay. Sit that ass down. That tired, sloppy, raggedy, sagging ass down. Bye. Get your life. Oh, the only thing I was, you know, you said you had something to say. Did you know, but you know what, that read <coughs> right there did it all. I'm done. And not for no nothing, comments. Mariah, you should have more of a seat because if I recall, nobody was not checking for you before you became a judge on Amer American Idol. Nobody was checking for her then either. Oh, no. So, American Idol. Nobody been checking for her since Glitter and nobody was really checking for her then either. Oh. Oh. I will say one thing, she did get a little research when she married Nick Cannon and then you see how that ended. Right. So. Bitch, American Idol brought back your legendary status. And they should snatch it back with you the way you just Isn't come through American slaying Idol's people. Like last two seasons anyway? It's the last season, period. And she also said that she will not perform on the, the finale of Idol. Nobody gives a fuck. Well, they probably it, don't want her anyway, though. Hello. Especially after she said that. Okay. Nikki was no. thankful. She bowed no, out no. and left. What happened was... They announced that they this is the last season. They were like they were reaching out to artists. Oh, I want you to come, you know, and perform. Mm -hmm. She was like, "Well, can I come perform too?" They was like, "No, no, we don't want you. Okay, no, exactly. thank you." <laughs> but no, I, thank you. but guess who they probably did ask? Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be here for mind her. you. She's performed on Ida before she was a yes, judge. Yes, she has. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, she did. Yes. Yeah, and then that's when J Lo was like, "Oh, so I bet you could do my job or whatever." Nicki said, "I probably could." And then next thank season, you. who was there? Okay. So, anyway, you want to know if you see first? So, let's get into some eggs, bacon, bread, sausage, little mama sausage. You mean Bow Wow? I'm sorry. Um, yes. Bow Wow, little mama. Bow it depends on, you know, who's out for the day. Bow Wow's drag team. Okay. The, the, that person decided to drop um, a sausage song. 
Um, and she, in, in doing all this, she decided to rip, and I do mean rip, every single person off, including Eris. Okay? And I don't think the decade of 80s or the 90s could sue her for the things that she took. If you see the video... The video is actually better than the song itself. No, the, video the, video is, the video is the video is the life. hype. The video is life. The what? video is the hype essentially. Mm -hmm. What I'm not here for is Little Mama impersonate Mary J. Blige. <laughs> I'm not here at all for it. I'm not even here for the little skippy bit bit whoop do wop wop couple of lyrics that she put together. That made it sound like she was singing like Mary J. Blige from, um, what song is that? Weekdays. We, okay, come on. What was you doing? And then, I'm not here for you trying to be Beyonce and every other artist, and, God, and especially Gaga, and that might have been the only outfit that she looked like something in. Yeah, she did look like... She looked like, oh. But I like how she stole from the from the house girls at that, too. Okay, yes. Like, why are you shouting these houses? Okay. Misera house of Miserai, he done got the ill shout out. Mm -hmm. And, it, well, I mean, I don't know how true it is, but the boy that did a dip, I believe he's in the house as well. Girl, you know everybody. Anyway, listen, 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 little mama, sit your ass down. The video's cute, though. The video's cute, the video's but that's about cute. it. Like... You stole, essentially, you stole from viral videos. In the beginning, they said, the birds are chirping. And then you got the sausage. That's a, yes. a faint, that's a, a viral um cipher, if you will, that these little kids from probably junior high school may have okay. been. Are they getting money from this? No. Nah. not. But I love the fact that Little Mama could not make out her own hits, so she had to borrow from hits from the past. All right. That's what's up. But I guess that's what you have to do. When but you, I guess you don't if you have can make hits. a song about lip gloss, I mean... Because... Who or maybe that's person? why she made the song. Because she was mad that somebody came out with something a little bit mm, less interesting than lip gloss. And it was a little bit more on of a <laughs> second, third grade level. Okay, so on that note, um, uh, next quality. Um, okay, the last little bit when I died twice and got my life again. The hearts. Um, Miss Dawn came to us. Earlier this week, I believe it happened on Monday, Monday or Tuesday of this week. I think it was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday, too. Um, Dawn decided to release, Dawn Rashad, if you don't know who I'm talking about, um, decided to release two singles, um, which is also her seventh visual um, video from Blackheart. Um, the name of the song is called Titan and James Dean. It's, like I said, two songs, one video. And if you notice, Dawn has been doing this a lot lately, doing the two songs into one big, huge video, visual concept. Um, now, I will say, I am here, I've always been here for how simple she keeps things. Dawn keeps things very simple because she likes to give you that visual aspect of it. And that's what I think draws me into my second wife so much. But yeah, what are y'all thoughts? The video was cute. The video was real cute, especially the first part. I don't know the name. Titan. Mm -hmm. The first part was very cute, very dancey, but not too dancey. Uh, the outfits were very uh, in sync with everything. She was extreme. She wasn't naked, but it was tasteful. Mm -hmm. And then the second part, I lived for that outfit. That outfit was really with the cute. James the Dean yeah. shirt. Sure, yes. That was cute. Okay, just her panties. You know what? And and hold. Did, did you catch the boots? I did see mm -hmm. the boots. <sighs> Mind you, they wasn't even boots. They're just like a two, three inch heel strapped all the way up that's connected to the panties. Right. You, girl. Yeah. Life, I tell you. Life. I said the whole James Dean part of the, the, the whole thing. I'm, I love the vision too, where she turns into like diamonds and everything. Mm -hmm. I love like diamonds everywhere. I that love that part. Um, in the beginning part with Titans. But um, I also love the, the whole denim de jean jacket thing she had going on in Titans. Okay. But I just love the Jean V in general, like of the song. I just love everything about it. By the way, if you guys don't know that um this video was also um produced by Monty Marsh. Monty Marsh has done a couple of Dawn's videos. But that concludes your spot of tea. Miss Cray. What's up? Hey Cray. Y'all are crazy. What it do, boo? What you got for us? So, this week on A Cray, we actually have two questions. Mm -mm. Oh, not one, so, but two. 
So, um, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start off on a thotty note, I guess. And then, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I start off on a thotty note? Oh, no, oh, if we got to start off on the thoughts. Okay, the subject says, I don't even know what this is, but it doesn't even sound right. To demon plunge or not. Oh. Okay. A Craig, what's going on? I absolutely enjoy you and the fellas of the tea. Aww. Thank you. Um, keep up the great work. So here's the situation. I'm recently single and my friends want me to explore and be thoughty thought-ish. Now, I might be here for the thought-ish stage, and if so, there is one person in mind <laughs> I would want to give the plunge to. Should I thought out and plunge or stay on my okay. dis- what is dis- plunge? discretion tip? Maybe they were trying to discretion. Discretion tip. Okay. Discretion tip. Uh, Kendall from Boston, Massachusetts. Massa- I can't say Massachusetts. That I can't say that word right. I have a list. So. Just, shout out to the thoughts in Boston. We didn't know y'all was out there thotting it up like that. But okay. hey. So. Okay. What's the demon <laughs> of Okay. That's what I want to get into. <laughs> Let's get into that. I don't know what that is. That sounds like a, a okay, no, type of We term. need to write back and, and get more information. On that. Okay. <laughs> so, or drop a comment. <laughs> drop a comment. Um, so, if you know what a demon pledge is, please write me because I have no idea what that means. Plunger. You think that might be the. Demon pledge? It might be the penis. Maybe so. Can I anyway, move around along. Um, could you so, do can I answer my question? And 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 they say, um, excuse me, Kendall says to should I take the plunge? So maybe you said then you could be you know, Kendall's a guy, right? Should I thought out and plunge? Not should I take the plunge, just thought out and plunge. Anyway, can I answer my question? Yeah, okay, well they, he clearly wants to be a thought. Let me be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is A Craig. Okay. Apparently not you got A-T, to be a <laughs> I'm just saying Or A the T. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But um Hmm. I'm trying to think of where to start. Um, as far as being single and your friends wanting you to get out, that's understandable, especially if you just got out of a difficult or if you just got out of a situation months ago and they want to see you, you know, get back in there. I definitely uh, agree with them wanting you to get out there again. Um, as far as thotting, um, I do not condone thotting. But if you feel that's the best way for you to get back in the saddle, so to speak, and... Um, Get your groove mojo back, whatever. Get your swag back. I don't know. But <laughs> if that's whatever helps you get back in the game, I'm all for it. Um, I don't condone it, but at least you do, so. Okay. Wait, not we're going to drag us back okay. into that. We're that drag us nation. Up. How? We're oh, not having this conversation. Yeah, no, 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 no. 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 So, yeah, that's my Second question. I will say one thing. Thanks for being a moral compass, though. Anyway, next question is, A. Cray, love you and love the show. Thank you. Um, I was wondering if you've ever been depressed, and if so, how did you deal with it? I'm wondering because my ex and I broke up a while ago, and I fell into a deep depression after our breakup, have since, but have since overcome it, but I still find myself deeply depressed. Any tips because this truly isn't me, signed Eric. So, I will say this. Um, I have been through depression at times. Um, it seems it comes uh, <laughs> every month um, <laughs> for me. Um, but um, the best way I deal with it is I give myself one pity night. And what I mean by pity night is you got to sit at home, watch a movie, drink some wine, pig out, have ice cream. Have a little pity party, you know, have that moment to really just feel because you're allowed, you're entitled to your feelings. So have that moment, that moment to yourself to, for that pity. And then the next day you wake up, you take a nice shower, you make some breakfast, you get your face together, you get your clothes on and you pump, bitch. I hear that. Okay. The next day you get up and you say, uh-uh, we're not doing this today. Today's a new day. You get up and you pump. If it's a, being that it's a breakup with you, I'm not saying get back out there because you need your time to heal and reflect. What you do is you get up and you go out, you do some retail therapy if you want, if you can, you go watch a movie out, you go see your friends, you get out of that house. 
I'm because fine. what happens is when you stay in the house, the walls start talking to you. And you start hearing things you don't want to hear. Listen, I don't know what your walls have to say. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did I just... Right, now we got next question. <laughs> oh! Oh, so that's what... Okay. All right. I meant walls. I'm sorry. She oh, said walls. Walls. Oh, All right. right. But um, you have to get... And for my girls out there, it gets tough. We go through things and... uh, Like I said, Mondays when you feel like, fuck, I have the worst weekend, the best medicine for a Monday is makeup. And that's all I'm going to say. So, with that makeup being Mondays. said, huh, Makeup Mondays, um, but no, uh, just, you you have to let yourself feel that pain, so you know what it feels like to overcome that pain. So, allow yourself to feel that pain, go through it, the next day you get up and you, you go. If you gotta go to work, get up, go to work with a smile on your face, maybe treat yourself to lunch. <laughs> Um, maybe even, even if you want to meet up with your friends for lunch, go meet up with your friends for lunch if you can. Hey girl, what you doing? Let's go to lunch real quick, you know? Um, do some retail therapy. Do not do online shopping or QVC, not QVC, uh, HSN. HSN. Don't do any home shopping. No. Get your ass up. Get, actually get out. In go public. to the mall. Go to public. Maybe meet some new people. Maybe get friend. Maybe get friends with with the uh, Bon Queen Queen down at the boutique. Or something. <laughs> She'll give you some tea. Though. She'll give you some tea, okay? And um, you make you make you feel <laughs> fab. If you want to go to the spa the next day, girl, do it, okay? But Eric, my brother, keep hope alive. Keep hope alive, okay? It's it's not the end of the world. I know at times it does feel like when we lose someone that is essentially a part of our life, it does feel like it's the end of the world, but it's not. And there will be people after that. Ooh. Okay. You know, I try. I try. So, uh, Diva. <laughs> yes. No. We, uh, we got those trends this week. Yes. Um, and this trend, these trends go out to Boo Boo Kitty over there. Because she felt, you know, lonely last week that there was no men's fashion trends. Bitch, I'm talking to you. Me? Boo Boo yes. Kitty in here? And Boo Boo Kitty right there. Oh, uh, hold up. Damn. I, I might be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Damn near like, just as light as ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I'm doing these men's well, trends. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> um, I'm doing these men's trends this week. And only this week. Because, you know, you want specifically <laughs> men's trends. Oh, just only oh, this week. <laughs> Are you good? Are you chop it like <laughs> that's just how we're doing it, boo. Yes, get your life. Okay, Miss Say, you're gonna get this week and only this week. Okay, do you want it or cause I can skip it? <laughs> I can skip it. Give me I the trends. Give me the trends. <laughs> okay, oh. so the first men's trend is the khaki suit. Now, most people think khaki, oh my god, that's old grandpa bitch. No, it's not grandpa anymore. Okay. Grandpa has gotten young. He done took his steroids. <laughs> Stop. He done, he done got in the Stop. gym. He done said that that instantly made me think he was on Viagra. Stop. <laughs> he done got in the gym. His body is right now. <laughs> no, but for real, the khaki, the khaki suit, it's a good GQ trend for the office, for a job interview, if you're going to be fresh stuff at a wedding. Um, also, too, with the khaki um, suit, what you're going to do, you're going to invest in this because this will carry you through from the spring to the summer and all to the fall. Okay. So you can actually splurge here on a khaki suit. Because it's not only for work anymore, it's for play and fun in between. It's that everything outfit. Yes. Now, my brothers who are tired of wearing black or brown shoes. Come through. Or black or brown accessories. Think about caramel. Caramel is the new brown. Um, caramel is very rich and it looks so expensive. Um, instead of caramel, <laughs> you know, you know, bitch, I uh, about you. <laughs> We said, we said oh, accessories, 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 not accessories. accessories. Oh, excuse me. Not yes. skin tones. You so, like, it. leather bags. <laughs> if, you do the, if you do this trend with leather, it looks really, really expensive. But you know what? He could be an accessory if he wanted to. Yes, he could. Mm-hmm. 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 Just throw it to wayside when the, the season's over. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Um, but I think leather bags. Think leather jackets. <clears throat> think your shoes, your wallets, your belts. Go caramel with your leather. Um. Oh, okay. Washed out jeans. The age and the day of the dark wash denim is over, fellas. You know, that's mostly our go-to thing because that's mostly what they sell. Yeah. Is dark wash and stiff jeans. I hate stiff jeans. So do I. Lighter washes, 
worn in jeans, makes you look so much trendier. Um, after that, the flight jackets. Do you remember that trend from like back okay. in the day? The flight flight jackets are back, and they're back with a vengeance because they come in new materials such as suede. What? Um, like, uh, like I said from last week, suede, um, and denim. Like yes, it's not yes. actually surprisingly. There's, you can have a, a denim flight jacket. Flight jacket. Um, they also have leather ones too. I'm here. Yes. Um. Okay. This is a, this is a fashion trend that might work for some people, might not work for some people. Tying a simple t-shirt or a plaid t-shirt around your waist. Now this trend started back in Seattle in the grunge band scene, and it's had its resurgence with stars like Chris Brown and Jared Leto. Just know his name wrong. Um, wearing these fat, wearing these fashion <laughs> statements instead of out of out of convenience. <laughs> Um, oh, the next trend that you guys need to get into. Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots are the original rock and roll boot. It, I have a question. Yes, bitch. Are those the boots that um, have, like, the um, the peak toe at the front and then they lace up? No, these don't lace up at all. These, oh, are, these okay. are just slip on the little elastic on the side. Oh, um, okay. Yes, they're really cute. Um, very, you know, either go from casual to dressy, you make it happen. Okay. Um, oh, pastels. Mm, pastels. This is for someone who is afraid to try color. It's not a too much loud in your face because it's a softer hue. It's an easy way for you to, you know, bring some color to your summer walks. Um, oh, very simple, very straightforward, all white. Just look clean. <laughs> um, <laughs> vivid and bold prints. Now, this is from the other end of the coin I just talked about. Um, this is for the person who loves their colors, loves to be seen. Yes, it's a Frida. Um, loves to be seen, loves to be the center of Whoa. the fashion attention. <laughs> okay. Bitch, why you know? Because uh, that was a read on the last <laughs> It, it sure enough was. Um, and then lastly, cufflinks. So let's say you're in the office, you're at a party, you're on a boat cruise. You know, there's going to be things going on this summer, you know, weddings, stuff like that. And... Maybe your your suit is just missing just like maybe that one little thing that a, a tie just couldn't do. Think about cufflinks or just jewelry accessories for your suit, like lapel pins, things like that. Um, basically, step it up a little bit. Now, I think we should get to something that you love. What is it? What is it? Do you want to say it? Because I'll give it to you. She tried it! <laughs> yes! <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> this week, we have Miss... I'm gonna fuck her last name up. Evelyn Lazada. Lazada. You've been fucking out all day. <laughs> all day. All, <laughs> all day. day. Miss Cameron Diaz, Miss Kelly Rowland, Miss L. McPherson, L. McPherson, um, and Kelly Ripper wearing Stella McCartney's long sleeve gold dotted tie front tapered jumpsuit. That's a lie. Okay. okay. I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. Your tongue ain't uh-huh. ain't tired from all that twisting. Girl, I made it happen though. Yeesh. You know I'm a stutterer, so. <laughs> I was like, brother, I didn't trip on that. Um, Teddy, who is Snatched? You can try it. Okay. Snatch, Lazada, she Snatched. Oh, you okay, bitch. Don't be trying to play me because I can't see her last name. Go ahead, continue. Evelyn, from Basketball Wives, LA, is Snatched. Okay. She's actually from the original Basketball Wives in Miami. Yeah. She's not. Well, yeah. Yeah. Very true. And okay. the whole lives and all that stuff. No, I'm I'm being oh okay, man, Um, Cameron Diaz. Um, I feel like Cameron Diaz tried it a bit. I'm gonna come back to her. Okay. Kelly Rowland tried it a bit. Bitch, you can't be skating the fence here. <laughs> Either she tried it, she didn't try it. All right, Kelly Rowland. Okay, they both tried it. Cameron Diaz and Kelly tried it. Okay. Um, McPherson. I see her, and I'm here for Kelly. Kelly Ripa. Okay. I'm. I'm. Yeah. So the two that tried it for me, Cameron Diaz, and I hate to say it, but Kelly, Kelly Rowland. Cray. I gotta hear this. Um. Kelly, Cameron, and Evelyn, unfortunately, tried it for me. Which Kelly? Uh, Rowland. Okay. And Kelly Ripa and L. Great job, especially I actually really like Kelly's better because she made hers pop with the red heel. Mm-hmm. 
and it fit her body more. Like it's Way more to her body. And essentially, this could be something really sexy, mm-hmm. but it doesn't look like lusty on her. Yeah. Like it just looks like, you know, it looks like professional wear on her. Yeah. It doesn't look like what it's supposed it to be. It looks daytime talk. Right. Right. Straight exactly. off the wrong way. It looks, but right. And it looks fantastic on her. The makeup was right. Everything was right for me with her. I love it. It's yeah. not too much and it's not too little. Okay. I'm just making mine really quick. Um, Evelyn, you try it. Mm. Um, I don't just, I just don't like the way you look at it. I don't know why. I mean, I, I, I see I know your, what it is. I, I see your boobs. to her. I see your boobs. Your boobs look. Your boobs I don't see a hip. I don't see yeah. a butt. Like, it gives her no body and she has a body. Right. And she has on the That's wrong the shoes for this. Yeah. yeah. She needed a heel. Um, Those are heels. Those are heels. Oh, they look like flat. Yeah. yeah. Um, next up, Cameron, girl, you look effortlessly. You look flawless. I don't think it's ever a carpet look. Exactly. But you look snatched. I like that. Um, Kelly Rowland, girl, you know I love you to death, but bitch, you tried it. Why is it too small for you? But why why it. is it like like pulling apart here? Why like you don't have the big boobs anymore? So why yeah. What do you mean she doesn't have the big boobs anymore? Because okay, you know, when she was pregnant, you know, the boobs is huge. And now they're not huge anymore. Oh, can we right, can, right. Can, can I touch on that for a quick second? And and the implants that we're talking about? Okay. She definitely took them out. Yeah. Um, yeah, she took them out. Oh. Um she took them out. I think she took them out because she got pregnant. Okay. Um, but anyway, like I said, you don't have the big boobs anymore, so I don't know why it's like pulling apart here. I'm sorry, bitch, you tried that shit. Moving on, next person. Um, we have Miss Elle McPherson. No, Miss Elle McPherson, whoever you want to call her. Um, she is a supermodel. I can't. She's a supermodel. She I can do no wrong. Her hair is flowing. Her walk is on the runway. She has diva hair going on. I love it. Moving on, next person. And Kelly Ripley. I can't with him. Kelly Ripley, you know, she is secretly a I want to be diva. you. And... One day I want to take over, you know, live with, you know, Kelly and Michael, which is, you know, Diva and Michael, you know. Uh, don't excuse, don't me. Make that excuse me, <laughs> Michael is my name. Girl, no, you can have him, but I just want to look at him every day. Again, mm-hmm. Michael. Listen, you can't help what the eyes is looking at. It. Okay. This is true. Okay, well, eyes be one's one. Can't help that. Um, so yeah, for those reasons, they're all chopped and snatched. Um, and finally, for the trend, um, I want to talk about Miss Sierra. So, Miss Sierra is having a, I don't want to say good year, an okay thing going she's on. She's doing well. She's doing okay with, with her really album trying to jacket. Give her that. She, she's you can give okay. her she's having a good year. For Shout Sierra, out to her. Oh. For Sierra, she's having a good year. Okay. Oh, Sierra's I can give it having a good year. I can give it to her because of where her, her level is. You can okay. give that to her. So, <laughs> Sierra's having a good year. Um, Jackie's doing well, I bet, when... Double certified it, it, gold or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it went gold. It's going good. And because of that, Roberto Cavalli has tapped her to be the new face of Roberto Cavalli. Hey, I'm here for it. Yes. Um, I'm upset because I, I just, I'm just just waiting. Well, okay, this is what happens um, when Roberto Cavalli picks a new face. Um, they usually, especially when they go up to the music business, they go with whoever is um, having a, phenom- a phenomenal year at the moment. And I thought Nikki was having a phenomenal year. Okay, because then we just sit here and say that Ciara was having a good year. No, yeah. no next to nothing. Nobody's Listen, phenomenal. I'm, I'm using their terms. Child. I'm using their terms. Huh. Um, so they, they usually go with whoever is having a phenomenal moment at the time. Um, yes. I think when they started doing the when they started the talks, I don't. I think Nikki kind of like was doing something else. I don't know. I don't know. But they're they're going with you know with the whole promotion of the it's fine. Nikki's going on tour. She's exactly. Mad. Um, but I'm just looking forward to seeing um, Ciara on the runway because you know usually when you're doing when you're facing the face of Walter Cavalli, you're actually physically on the runway with these models. Right. I'm here so for that. So I want to see her on this runway because I see her fashion. I see her out and about in town. She is always looking flawless. I do say her fashion is always her, her, her fashion is nasty. Her fashion is really nasty. And she struts. Yes. She so never walks. I want to see her on the runway. I want to see what she does. I and think she would turn. I can't wait to see the print ads, too. And that's it for the trip. Here right. for it. So this week, for Tea of the Week, <laughs> it's a title that these two heifers came up with. You know, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me say because we've been getting thrown under the bus. Bitch, everybody done got thrown under the bus this show. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Shade thrown. Down okay. Thrown. 
I should have known that I was dipping my good old Metro card into the shit shade bus. <laughs> Bitch. The shitty shade bus? Okay. And tea ways. So this week. Could we tea of the week <laughs> is titled uh, Dear Straight People. Mm-hmm. Um, these heifers have questions for straight people that they might want to get answered. And they dragged me to ask a question or two to the straight, my but fellow okay. straighties. Because this is a one, this was war, part one of part two. Part two is next week. It's called yes. Dear Gay People. Oh, there's going to be some Flat questions out. for y'all. <laughs> Trust me, I'm going to have a whole fucking list. Um, who wants to go first? Okay, I'll go first. Okay. Um, dear straight people, <laughs> um, in particular, fellas. I would appreciate, or let me know, hit me up, but um, the sagging of the pants, I'm not okay with that because y'all sag y'all pants to a level that's unsaggable, okay? And I don't even know how y'all walk with your pants sagging that low, but most importantly, let's get to what the this is about. Don't get mad if I'm looking at the cake, Okay? Your pants is down, all the way exposed. Okay, wait, can you bring it down just a little bit? Can okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was, it was making me mad. But, like, straight dudes, y'all get mad. Y'all get mad if the pants is down. Oh, if it's some dude look at my ass, ah, 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 why? But, why be mad? Like, females keep their cleavage on display all day, 24-7. So, if yours is on display, don't be mad if I'm looking. Mm. Craig has a question. Yes, Craig. Or rebuttal. Hey, Craig. No. Tapper No, no, no. Pick me. Okay, Craig. Craig. Okay. Um, but don't you say anything? Oh. No, I don't. <laughs> I recall me okay, telling people on more. Let I me recall explain. me telling Teddy on more than one occasion to pick up his pants. Let me explain my sag. Okay? Please do. My yeah, sag. What's the difference between your sag? Please let me and check this. My sag. Hey, listen, y'all can check. Help me check this bitch. Okay, go ahead. My sag stay above my Duncan Hines. Okay, my sag is like no mid drift no. Duncan time, or no, a little bit no, further no, up. No, 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 <laughs> not happening. I mean, bitch, I seen no. your cake more than I've this. seen Lies. your cake more than I've seen my own. Lies. I don't even have a cake. Lies. <laughs> I need to know why I see your cake more than I see lies. Mine. That's not lies. Every okay. time we're walking, I see it. Let me I saw it today. July. My pants are all the way up. They <laughs> sitting on. There's no saggeration over right here. Right now, though, no, because you're sitting. Okay, I can stand up and there's still no I'm saggeration. Gonna, I'm gonna try to help and bail you out a little bit. Okay, okay bail me. Why do the straight boys sag their pants so low that it's like in their mid thigh and bitch your dick is singling? Why? Yeah, Hello. Because the prince be out. And not for why? nothing, you got people out here and on bird a watch. Of, a lot of times, bitch, you don't have a big dick either. So why? Come on, you better speak that. Why? And, and then they'll get mad. I checked that too. I checked. I definitely checked. Yikes. They'll get and mad. And I'll be on front key, so I checked. You got the boys and the girls that's out here on bird watch. Mm-hmm. And that's they get mad. And they get mad when they don't see no bird. <laughs> so why is your pants that low? Yes. I can't also, why do you sag your pants so low, but yet you have a belt on? Why? Why? Because nine times out of ten, your belt is fake. And I can I be checking that too. That's what I think it is. I, I think they want the, the belt to be shown. But bitch, don't so show, don't sag and show a fake belt. Bitch, if you're gonna show up, if you're gonna wear your your label, let it be legit. Word, because I don't need to see your need, your, your belt mid thigh. Yes, I don't need to see that your Gucci's made in China. Okay, you better say that. I'm sorry. The next question. Next okay, question. so uh, oh, you, you gonna go? Oh, questions? we we doing one on one? Yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um. Dear straight people, um, particularly my ladies. Uh, Bitch, you better disarm yourself. <laughs> disarm yourself. Um, how come when you introduce me to your friends, oh, this bitch, I have to be introduced as your gay best friend? Okay, I have I, 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 uh, Hello. The, the word here is friends. Hello. Craig, go now, because I know what you're going to say. I don't introduce. Diva as my gay best friend, and he knows that. Yes, I know. So, I'm talking about other Okay, females. present company excluded. Women tend to do that because they're 
their boyfriends mm-hmm. or men they're inquiring tend to get a little intimidated, a little jealous hanging around a guy. But not for nothing. I'm not saying your boyfriend, your fuck buddy, nothing like that. I'm saying your friends. I mean, a man Someone you're inquiring that, okay. about could still be your friend. Okay. So... That's a whole nother conversation. Okay. Um, okay. Because I have this friend. I'm not going to say her name. Um, we met at work. Yes, ma'am. What? I forgot what's up Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had this friend we met at work. And we hung out after work. And we were um, here in Queens on Jamaica Avenue. And she seen somebody that she knew who was a girl. And I are. I are. Okay. Not you are. Okay. I are. Okay. And she was like, oh, hey, such and such, this is my friend Kevin, this is my gay best friend. Then, not only this, then this is the thing that really annoyed me. On Instagram, um, we, t- we take a picture. Stop. She goes, Shout you. Stop. She, yes. But she, he's going in. Does she watch the show? I don't know. Stop. She <laughs> did not shout it out on IG. Yes. Wait, this is my gay. Stop. Don't get me wrong. I'm guilty. I do call him my gay. Mm. No, but, but in return, know. he calls me the hag. So. Yes, but no, when we're doing that, that's like play. That's play. That's our thing. Right. That's, that's that's you know you, that's that's our thing. Okay. But I'm saying for me, for you to introduce me to a stranger, right? Why does my sexuality have to be on front street? Yeah, because if you were out the closet, that could be kind of that could be a bit yeah. Much. Like what if what if I just let you know like oh you know I like boys. And but you don't tell nobody. Why are you yeah, telling? Yeah, it's not like you would introduce me as your fat I mean, friend. So yeah, why would you introduce exactly? Me? Okay. Like, I would introduce you as my fat friend, my light skin friend, my my friend with um natural hair. I would say, oh, this is my friend Malika, and keep it moving. Or this is this is my friend so and so, keep it moving. And push. Well, you better introduce she, me as Malika because these bitches better know my name. But that goes to say, not for you. Look, I mean, introduce you to to whoever I'm with because nothing because they might not be important for me to introduce you to. Cut. Just saying. But yeah, there's straight people, especially girls. Why? Why? Yeah, another Why? Why? Yeah, do you have one? Do you have one? I have one. All right, we'll spit it. Let's spit it. We'll I have go. two. Okay. Okay. Dear straight women, mm-hmm. why are you so, like, oh, why are you a gay man trapped in a gay, uh, a straight woman's body? Wait. There's so many young. Th- Wait, but just listen to what I said. Yes, yeah, I'm a sip on that. There's so many women that be like, I'm about to do a reenactment. Y'all about to get real ghetto. But just know, warning, this is not how I act. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Bitch, yes! Oh my god, yes, hunty, give me the tea. Oh my god, like, oh my god, hunty, oh my god, hunty, hunty, wait, hunty. Never do oh this again. Never ever do <laughs> this is definitely not true. Yes, bitch, oh my god, yes, bitch, yes. Oh my god, hunty, spell my good old cup of tea because you know I'm ready for the tea. I want my honey and my sugar and my milk. Give me the tea. And see. Don't talk about, about Uber much, <laughs> right? But that's how they Who was that bitch? Bone Queen Queen on the call out. Bone Queen Queen them? I've seen it. There'd be a lot of young no, teenage girls who do yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen it too. They'd be like, yes. I'd be like, oh, okay. I didn't know I was yeah. at a but, gay yeah. bar, but no big deal. Um, And dear straight men, why are you so intimidated oh, doing both. Okay. Okay. by... I'm going to just get out the way. <laughs> um, dear straight men, <clears throat> why are you so jealous, intimidated, and uncomfortable with gay men, but you're not uncomfortable with gay women? Hmm. I like that. Good question. The issue with me is there was, uh, uh I didn't have the conversation with these people. There was a conversation that was brought to my attention and basically, the men were just like, well, I don't want straight men around. I mean, I don't want gay men around me because I'm not gay. And it was just like, I don't want to hang out with a bunch of faggots. And it's just like, but what does it matter to somebody's sexual orientation? But I think the problem is this young, particular young man, mm-hmm. I think he's on the down low himself. Mm-hmm. Some people who know me may know who I'm talking about. So if we're on the same wavelength, hit me up and let me know. We'll talk about it later. But um, this particular... Oh, that one. Okay. So um, 
I personally think that that person is uncomfortable with your sexuality because I have been around lesbians and I never felt like they wanted to hit, to hit on me. Mm-hmm. I may have felt like I wanted to hit on them because I'm a lesbian <laughs> on the weekends, but I never felt like I wanted to. Yes, like they were gonna, I never felt okay. uncomfortable. Like somebody's sexuality would not make me uncomfortable. Somebody's mental health might make me uncomfortable, True. but not a sexuality, not who you prefer you want to sleep with. Because that has nothing to do with me. We're not having sex. So what do I care? What I don't like is when there's men who are on a down low that have beards. What I mean by that is... Like a you? Huh? Like a you? A, a straight female? Yeah, because essentially would be okay. Essentially, that's what I mean. Like, you, okay. you're, you're gay, mm. and you know that, mm. but you have a wife mm. or a girlfriend. Mm. That's the problem. Because and then they, and then she doesn't know and mm. then that opens that you take away that choice from her. Yeah. Well, um, you must be mad at like half of America. Well, yeah, I am. Okay. I don't like that download <laughs> shit. Like, if you're gay, be gay. Yes. Just be gay. Own who you are. Own who you are. Be you. Be true to you, boo. Be true to you, <laughs> boo. But um, I don't. I don't. I want to be me personally. I need to be with a man. That's comfortable with gay men because this right here is fucking real. I'm just saying. This is not just my job. This is a legit friendship right here. Okay, you. So, (laughs) if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friend. Yes. Yes. (laughs) So, and not even just that. You need to be comfortable with your own sexuality. Like, not even just because I I have men in my life who are gay. You just need to um, be comfortable with who you are. Because if you're not, if you're not comfortable with who we are, how can I be comfortable with who you are? Mm. And that's just for anybody. You can't expect somebody to be comfortable with you if you're not comfortable with you. If you don't like who you are, okay. how do you expect anybody else to like who you are? And that's why I'm saying, be true to you, boo. You twerk that. that. Okay. Honey. You twerk. The hell out of that. And before I, before I get into preaching, one of y'all need to go because it's gonna be okay. Up. I'll go. All right, dude. Because you kind of opened it up for me a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna go. So, dear straight people, particularly dear straight guys, and more specifically, dear ugly straight guys. <laughs> why do you swear up and down that every gay nigger, I'm gonna come oh, use your terms, stop. is hitting on you? Wait. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a baseball bat. But in particular though, like just because you're straight and you're a guy does not mean that every gay guy wants you. It's not, it's not, no, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay. Hallelujah. (laughs) Okay. But that's what I don't understand because I think that's another problem. Like there have been men that I was talking to and I said, you know, are you... Do, are you afraid of gay men? Are you homophobic? Because that's a legit question. Some people really are homophobic. Yeah. I don't know why. But that's the question that you should be asked. Right. So I say, are, are you homophobic? Especially if you're like, you know, a good gay, a, you know, a good, right. a good gay girlfriend in your life. <laughs> so I say, you know, are you homophobic? And they say, well, no. I said, well, that's good because, you know, my best friend is gay and I want to make sure that you're comfortable with that because he is a, a part of my life. And he's my, he's my best friend. So I need to know that you're comfortable with that. I be, you know, and if, if if one of their people had a problem with fat people, you know, I would want them to know. Oh, yeah. bitch, you got a problem with fat people? We got something to talk about. You know, because I was, I'm, you know, I'm not with that. I'm not here for that. You know, no. I'm, or if they have a problem with naturals, you know, some people can't. Oh, yes, I gotta you? tell y'all what. Let me tell y'all. Let me just. We gonna get on topic. For right now, right is, right this new, is this another district people? No, see, well, now, now you see why we need to spill it. Well, yes. this isn't a straight pee. This is this dear, is people. This is dear chemically can, induced. Why yes. were we chemically induced? Okay. Why do you <laughs> feel the need? Oh, I thought I lost one of my things. Okay. Why do you feel the need to look me up and down? Because I feel the need to want to wear my kinks the way I want to wear my kinks. If I want to have a curly fro, if I want to have twist that in my hair that may look like yarn to you, but look like artwork to me, why is that your fucking problem? This is what okay. I When I I'm say, I, you know, there's a vanity box. Mm-hmm. By my house, mm-hmm. they must have had an event on Saturday because bitches was outside like they was throwing free bundles in there. Stop! Really? I I kid you not. It was a crowd. 
And I'm walking because I was going on, I was going um, on Jamaica Avenue to make a purchase. Mm -hmm. And um, they just like grilling me because I don't wear a weave. Really? Yeah, grilling me. Life. Looking me up and down, I mean, yeah, you know it's hot, so I had my dress on. I had the thighs, the pies, the rolls, the whole bakery out. I was hot. Yes! I was hot. The bakery is on for The street. face was snatched. I had my sunglasses on, but it was hot, and my mm. hair was out, and it was just like, mm. mind you, I got more hair on my head without these twists in my hair than half these bitches online. Cause and they edges. just some edges. Listen, edges, edges. Where are you? Okay. okay. Edges, where are you? Ooh, edges, ooh, edges, but, are you there? Ooh, but it was ooh, just a ooh. problem. Like, why are you so mad? Like, okay, my fault for making that choice for myself. I'm sorry you want to keep putting a tight-ass weave in your head and snatching your edges and the rest of your hair back. That's just not me, okay? I like my hair to, you know, I don't need a relaxer. My hair's not stressed out. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's French. <sighs> Teddy, let's just move on from that one. You need a minute? Oh, shit. I'm sorry up here. Yo, I'm locked and loaded, okay? <laughs> you was on fire tonight. I'm locked and loaded, baby. I've been, oh, locked, and I've been locked and loaded all week. Oh, at work. Gosh. I, especially at work. I've been locked and loaded at work. Because there been some... Hmm. Do you need some extra tea for your okay. tea? Uh, can, I have some, can I have some extra tea for my tea, please? Because it needs to be watered down just a bit. You know? Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I need some because I, I, I can't. Oh gosh. I can't. That a okay. little uh, that we good. We good. Right. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I can knock them over all week. I don't give a fuck. On it? Mm -hmm. Ready. Uh-huh. All right. So, I'm gonna do my last one. Dear straight people, females in particular. Mm -mm. Okay. And I'm glad because you kind of just talked about it. <laughs> females with your lace fronts. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Life, so um. First and foremost, my first problem is females with your lace fronts. Why do you get your lace front? Why does the lace front start where your edges should be? Okay. And why can I see the line, the actual lace line coming around where it should be edges? And then you have some females that got their lace fronts that start way back past their edges. Why is the lace front starting in the middle of your head? Why? 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 I don't know, I don't, I don't know but it bothers me, and it bothers me to see these women out here with these lace fronts, where you, oh, the lines at the edges. Those is what kills me, because it seems like somebody sewed on just like a perfect little line and took the hair and said, here you go. <laughs> Put it on the head. And, that's, and that line is now your edge. What? I'm sick of it. Let these lace fronts go. And if you don't want to let them go, have your hair beautician do it right where you can at least see your edge. Or... But there's lace fronts, if you actually have the coin, that you can wear it and it looks like there's edges there. Well, yeah. clearly the but, people that I've seen in the boroughs don't have the coin. But also, too, though, there are tutorials online to tell you how to put your lace front on. I'm sorry. Wait, and then there's makeup artists who teach you how to cover up your lace fronts Which, with the makeup. Yes. To give you edges. Right. Well, for those that ha that are out there currently with, with the lace fronts that I was just talking about, go on YouTube and find your tutorial so you can um, couture and um, get, just get the edges on par. Okay, because I can't take it. And it's hot. It's summertime. Yes. Dear straight people. Dear straight why? People. And why? dear chemically induced why? people. Why? We have to edit. We need to do that. That's going to be our episode. Dear chemically induced people. Chemically induced? Yeah, we're we going to do that. I'm here for it because I done been through the chemicals. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm. So, I guess that's it. Does anybody have anything else to add? I think we're good. I think we're done. Um... Any updates? Oh, any personal lines? updates you guys need? Um, no, oh, so not really. No. No. <laughs> no. So with that said, then the, the tea, tea has been served. served. Make sure you guys do send the questions to Acre. Yes. Yes. Email those. Keep through. those questions yeah. coming in the subject. Put Acre, and then your question title maybe, or just Acre, or Ooh. Alika, or Ask Alika. Just a well, help me cram all my edges back. Yes. Okay. Edges, edges, are you there? Yes. Edges, edges, edges everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. 
as all of our videos. Um, make sure you go to our Facebook fan page and like our Facebook fan page. Okay. That's Facebook, Facebook.com backslash the T NYC. Um, our email address to get in touch with Craig or get in touch with any one of us. Yes. Uh, especially if you have some tea spilled and you think we should talk about it. It's T H E New York spelled out at gmail.com. Um, check out our Instagram at T H A underscore T N Y C. Check out our personal Instagrams um, at Teddy something. <laughs> Girl, help me out here. At Teddy underscore P underscore 31 at OMG. Alika Cray. Alika Cray. At, at DRK underscore Prince 85. What? what? Um, oh, there is one thing. What? Um, we did last week, um, we made uh, a statement about our, our viewers supporting the fans calling you guys teacups. Well, um, we're going to have to retract that. Um, you guys, I would say we will now be called teapots. Um, only because I had did some research on someone that you put me up onto. Um, this gentleman that is on Instagram, um, that we both a actually happen to follow. And he actually calls all of his people teacups. Dante. Yes, Dante. Dante. So, I didn't know that. So, <laughs> because of that, <laughs> and want no I don't want to get anyone... In Anybody confused? I don't want any issues with Dante because Dante is an amazing person in himself. His videos are funny. His, shit. Yes, he's hilarious because BT movies be like and like okay. Jesus and okay. And oh, or and he be, my favorite is just the epic stretch. I'm right? with your man. Oh no, the epic stretch. I'm with your man. I love like, epic what? I'm out to eat with your man. Like it gets no better than that. So mm -hmm. no. No confusion here. No confusion. Dante has his teacups. We have our teapots. Okay? Because you know when <laughs> it gets sizzling, you got to be ready to spill. Yes. Okay? Um, I think that's everything. Yes. Right. That's every, every, everything. Every, everything. Um, everything, everything. Again, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. Okay. And we will see you next week. Um, just so you guys know, I'm going to do this this week because I know what it is next week. Um, we are talking about dear gay people. Yes. So, so if you have any questions, if you have any questions that we maybe want to you want to ask, ask us, send yes. them in. or send them in, or maybe if you want to do something on your chest, like dear straight people, why? I mean, gay people, why? Mother, just, just why? Just why? Just why? Yeah. Just why? Because, you know, me as a gay person, I'm like, girl, why? Okay, because I got a lot of why. Child, why? <laughs> and you, you think, wait till we get the nerve. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, okay, we'll check you guys out next week. Peace. Peace. Bye.